who was Reagan and how did Reagan come to his political conclusions of eventually obviously becoming a president of the United States? Well, so he was, he had been um, raised an FDR Democrat. He called himself a hemophiliac liberal, a bleeding heart liberal. He was a new dealer from the Midwest. And I mean, that's my family too. My family's from Western Pennsylvania, coal mines, steel mills, Pittsburgh. And, you know, in those days, they, it was kind of the party of God, guns, and labor in those days, right? Um, it's interesting that it's what Donald Trump really tapped into here in Western Pennsylvania, fracking industry, West Virginia, coal mining. But uh, so Ronald Reagan came out of that group. His mother was very religious, very, very religious. And when Reagan went out to Hollywood in the 1930s, started making movies, a lot of movies, 1930s and 1940s, among other things, he became weary of, of kind of this hyper New Deal collectivism, redistributionism, high tax rate, tax rates, what Reagan called creeping socialism, where you start this new program, that new program, this new program, and pretty soon, how do we pay for all of this? Well, how do you pay for it? <laughs> well, you increase taxes, right? On who? Well, on the rich, all right? Well, how do you get any higher than 91%? Well, we go to 94, right? Uh, how about 99.5, right? Yeah, you know, Margaret Thatcher said the problem with socialism is you eventually run out of other people's money at some point. So that got to Reagan. And what really got to Reagan was he saw the communist infiltration of Hollywood. Reagan saw that with the Screen Actors Guild. He was president of the Screen Actors Guild. And he also saw Reagan became a popular after dinner speaker in Hollywood in the 1940s, where he would go around giving this speech, exoriating Nazism, fascism. And one day after he gave this speech to a men's group at his church, the pastor, the Reverend Cleveland Kleihauer came up to Reagan and said, hey, Ron, that's a great speech. You know, Nazism, fascism, evil, 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 evil. But you know, Hitler's dead. There's no movement in the United States at all for Nazism. You know, the war was over three years ago. You know, Ron, out there right now, there's another threat out there. It's called communism. And it's, it's pretty brutal too. And I think your speech would be a lot more powerful if maybe you just added in a little criticism about communism. <laughs> and Reagan Patrick said, well, that's a pretty good idea. I think I'll start doing that. So Reagan gives his typical stump speech and he's giving it to one of these progressive groups in Washington, right? And sitting there, you know, the John Howard Lawson, Dalton Trumbo, Hollywood 10 types, way to go, Ron, way to go, you know, get, get those Nazis, get those fascists. And then Reagan gets to the end of the speech. He writes about this in his memoirs. And he said, at the end of the speech, he, he said, he said, you know, there's another ism out there and it's called communism, another totalitarianism. And I'll tell you, if that ever becomes a threat to the United States, like Nazism was, I will condemn that just as harshly. And Patrick Reagan said, you could hear a pin drop, a pin drop, right? And, and he said, he got called names, um, um, ca uh, witch hunter, red baiter, fascist scum. All of a sudden, he's like persona non grata. He's like, what am I doing? And he realized, Reagan said, the reds weren't under the bed. You know, they were, they were in the bed. And a lot of these progressive groups that he thought were good-hearted liberals like him were actually pro-communists. So if this uh, uh, awakened Reagan to the communist threat in Hollywood and the United States, and all of that, that FDR, everything else, began pushing him out of the Democratic Party and toward eventually the Republican Party and conservatism. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.